Hello, good day everyone. Today we're going to do a bit of a discovery in terms of the restore options within Cove Microsoft 365. So what we're going to do, we're going into the centralized management console and within this dashboard we can manage different types of backups, right? Servers, workstations, and also Microsoft 365. So let's use the quick filter under the dashboard views, clicking on Microsoft 365. And we have a couple of Microsoft 365 tenants. So let's get in one of these. And here we can see that this Microsoft 365, it's, it's running fine. We can see the backup sessions, historical session information is posted in here. And next, if we want to do a restore of data, we can easily go into the restore button and we can say restore exchange. This will actually filter the protected and, and then it will show up the, the users. We can select one of the users. Let's check in on mine. We say next. So in here, we can just pick the specific date session time and say, okay, I want to restore some data from that specific day from a specific session but uh, the, the fact is that of course you need to know if the data is in that session so yes we can just go into the inbox select these items and select individual items we can search on items and then click next on the recovery options but in the use case when the user it's uh, is reaching out and they say okay yeah i have to restore some emails uh, but I'm not sure since when uh, those emails were deleted. We have the ability to do an advanced search on that. So what we can do, uh, we select on the mid, we just click on the, on the inbox, we go to filters, and then we can also search in a specific date range. So if we go back to, let's say somewhere, May. Yeah, so it's a timeline of uh, eight, nine months. Um, we can search on specific filters. So we can just get, say, okay, give me all emails or just only the emails with attachments. But we can also just search on the from, the to, the subject, and also on the message content. So an important note on this is that we have the ability to search on the message content. So it's going to give us the emails, which has message content test in it previewing the header so we can see the from the to and the subject but we don't have the ability to read the email without the, without restoring the email just in terms of um, security of course so we can just see the emails that has message content test in it and we can say okay give me these three items uh, we can go into the next step and then we have the restore location and by default it sets to auto generated so what I will do is going to create a folder into that user's mailbox uh, called restored, including the date, uh, which is nice, right? That you can say to the, to the user, okay, check in your mailbox, find that folder and the emails will be into that folder. You can restart back into the original location to skip the emails that have not changed, or we can just restart it back into um, a new location on the existing user account. But Let's go for the default one to say, okay, let's restart back into an out generated application. We just got the summary, then we say next and finish. So if we go into this device, we go into the properties, we go into the book and restart jobs. It's very good. And it will take a couple of seconds. And if we're going to check the, the mailbox of that user, um, we can see it's popping up in here into the folder restored 31 January 2023. And actually, we got the, those three items being restored. So that was nice and easy, right? Let's go for data protection.